This conference will now be re it, Let's start today's session. In the last session, we were discuss about uh, ASP.NET Core CSS styling. So now today we'll discuss about uh, CSS selectors are there here. So what are the important CSS selectors? We'll discuss in detail. CSS selectors are used to select the HTML elements the way you want to style. Okay. So what the way you want to style to your HTML elements, then we can go for CSS selectors here. So CSS selectors here. CSS selectors. What are the CSS selectors are available here? So CSS selectors are used to select the HTML elements the way you want to style. And CSS selectors are three types. One is element selector, element selector. Next one is ID selector, ID selector. Next one is class selector class selectors are there. Three types of selectors are available in CSS. Element selector, ID selector, and then class selector here. First, we are talking about element selector. Element selector selects HTML elements based on the element name. Element selector selects the HTML element based on the element name only. Based on the element name in the sense for example, here I am taking P here, internal style sheet only I am maintaining. So color blue, so external style sheet I am removing this. And element selector means only particular element is going to be select. So paragraph is going to display color is blue only. When we run this, this is element selector only sir. First element selector P element is there. I am going to run this one. Let's run this. So element selector is this one. We are selecting the particular element that is P element or H1 element or other elements like this. Universal selector also there. Yes, I'm trying to discuss about universal selector also that is start symbol through we have to use. So element selector is just element name is there that is P. P is the element. This P element through we are identifying the element in the HTML body. So on that HTML, we are finding that uh, uh, styling only here. This is element selector like this only. Okay. So next to what I'm trying to do, ID selector I'm taking. ID selector is always associated with hash symbol. Thus, ID selector uses the ID attribute of an HTML element. And to select a specific element, the ID of an ID of element should be unique, sir no duplicate id the id of an html element is unique within the page so the id selector is used to select one unique element only one unique element means we can apply on particular id through we can select one particular element so then in that context we can use id selector to select an html element with a specific id then the id always uh, starts with has character okay has character followed by the element only. For example, here I'm taking this ID. ID is what actually I'm taking. P A R J para one is ID. So here two paragraphs are there. Two paragraphs are there. Now two paragraphs are there. This is my second paragraph. But in the first paragraph only, I'm taking my ID. So look at here. ID equals to what ID name I'm mentioning? Para one. So we are taking this ID para one para one ID. I am passing to only first paragraph. That means only first paragraph will be impact on blue color. Second paragraph will not be impact on blue color. That means this is ID selector I'm doing here. So ID selector through we are impacting that. So this is very clear ID selector and class selector also there here. What is class selector ID selector? How to recognize sir? only how to use this ID. ID selector is used to ID attribute to identify the element in your HTML body section only. Then what is the class selector here? Class selector selects HTML elements with a specific class attribute 
and to select HTML element with a specific class, write a period character. Period character means dot character followed by the class name. For example, here I'm taking para1 is there. This is para1. Okay, para1. And I want to make here, I'm selecting class selector here. So I'm taking here CNTR center. This is class selector only. Dot I'm using no. This is my class name center and dot selector. So I'm taking here text align equals to center also. I'm taking text align equals to what actually center C and TR center. So this class selector we can apply what actually class attribute through we can apply not ID attribute because there is a class is there. So class selector we have to access through class name and what is the class name actually center is the class name. So this paragraph will be appear on the center only here. Now you can see first paragraph is going to appear on the center only because that selector is clearly available. So center dot center means this is the class selector only here. So ID selector, class selector, element selector like this. You can also specify that only specific HTML element should be affected by the class. Okay. Only if you want to make specific elect, a specific uh, uh, element affected by the class. So for example, just observe here, I'm taking uh, 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 center means here dot class dot center. So we are making class center. So this is automatically the center is affected in this paragraph only. But I'm saying that you can also only specify the HTML element should be affected by a class only class in the sense only if you want to uh, um, what we can say here if we use class suppose here h1 section is there suppose h1 section is there h1 it is h1 this is my heading this is my heading look at here this is my heading is there this is my paragraph is there both are there once i run this so class indication i am giving for h1 as well as uh, what actually uh, paragraph both I'm using classes so both h1 tag and uh, uh, this paragraph tag both are going to be display in the center only because for both elements I'm using class attribute here so class equals center class equals center both are going to be specifically available center only heading is center and paragraph is center color is blue color but though we mention class then we can also specify the element suppose if you want to make only this class is eligible for a paragraph or something then we can also declare class p dot center means the center class only applicable for paragraph not applicable for h1 so even though when we maintain class equals to center it's not applicable only because i have specifically mentioned that p dot center only so p dot center means automatically p dot center is available here just run this so specifically also you can mention the id so which ID you want to select. So now you can see this is my blue color. Blue color only will affected. Only paragraph is affected center. But remaining is not going to be affected center here clearly. So this is ID selector, element selector like this. And universal selector is there. The universal selector associated with star symbol. It will select all the HTML elements on the page only. Suppose I'm taking instead of this, I'm using star. Star indicates what actually all the HTML elements will be affected automatically that is universe selector selector how many number of uh, html elements are there in the body section all the elements this universal selector center and blue color it will display clearly look at here so universal selector is star only star in the sense automatically that will consider as universal selector that universal selector will select all the html element and that making effect into your html body here and grouping selectors are there to group selectors and separate each selector with a comma also. For example, here I'm taking H1, H1 and paragraph H2, H3 like this. We can group the all the elements H1, H2, H3. Color text align equals center. Color equals to blue. Okay, if you want to go for font family equals to font family equals to. Okay, Vardana I'm taking here font family. This is my all the HTML elements I'm picking. So this is grouping the HTML elements H1, P, H2, H3. P, H1 is there. H2, H3 also I want to copy this and paste it here. H1, H2 also. H2 and H3 also I'm taking here. H2 I'm taking this is. 
and h3 also i'm taking this is h3 now heading heading like this all the elements are center blue what the color it is going to affect it here so grouping the html elements also possible h1 h1 each and html element we have to group together for how many type of html element you want to give the styling you can mention them this is called grouping html element each in the grouping the html element part each html tag we have to include what actually comma symbol here we have to include okay so let me right click on it and view browser browser is ready i will show you maximum i'll try to find the solution tomorrow because how to reload auto reload in html with visual studio 2019 i'll find it auto reload option is required for us now you can say all are vardana blue color and all are coming into center only this is h1 paragraph h2 h3 like this only this is all together we can use it and there is a pseudo element also available in css uh, things pseudo element means p s e u d o pseudo element what is pseudo element actually here we'll look into this this is used to style a specified parts of an element the pseudo element selector is this is used to style this is used to style specified part specified part specified parts of an html element specified specified parts of specified parts of an element we can say that specified part of an element this is used to style specified parts of an element in the sense Look at here the syntax I'm giving here. Selector you have to mention colon colon P S E U D O pseudo P S E U D O pseudo element we have to mention that pseudo element after that property and then colon value only. This is the pseudo element selection. Example I'm going to do pseudo element selector is this one only. So in this style I'm taking pseudo element selection how it is paragraph pseudo element is this colon colon so first letter i'm taking here first letter first letter first letter color is what actually red color i'm taking first letter this is a red color first letter red the first letter is blue and now you can see first letter is red color and again pseudo selection here p colon first line i'm taking not letter first line color is uh, just uh, blue i can say that first line blue color i have to make this blue color close this this is first letter as well as first line both are available here pseudo selection now we can able to use paragraph here so i want to go for paragraph section here p and i want to give more text for the paragraph so i want to make this first letter pseudo letter character this is red and first line is completely blue remaining is normal paragraphs only so i want to uh, go for just the paragraph selection i'm taking paragraphs more number of lines i'm including in this just i'm taking asp.net core introduction part this is lengthy paragraph let's copy this and paste them into here in the paragraph section paste them into here. now you can see no oh, what is that paste them into here this is paragraph actually so whenever i'm going to uh, load this so right click on it and load this then first character will be the red color and first line is completely blue color so just observe here first line will be the blue color first letter is the red color this is paragraph things server is not ready now you can see this here you can see asp.net is there but first line is available that is a uh, blue color but first letter is not available the reason is here you can see first letter color colon red is there i am giving first letter red but color is not affecting and first line is color blue it's okay fine 
okay but just observe here let me go for what is the happening here why my first letter is not blue color i think so that is first letter gap is there in this paragraph let me include this now let's refresh this Now you can see a letter is there first letter red color and total first line will be blue color and remaining things will be the black color here this is pseudo element uh, selection like this one and sometimes in uh, uh, this case we have to provide the hyperlink hyperlink activity also important here so we can able to set the styling for hyperlink also how to provide styling for the hyperlink in the sense just observe here a link is there a link means a link a anchor tag is required for hyperlink creation a link this means a normal a normal unvisited link we can say that a normal unvisited link like this and a visited is there a visited a visited means a link the user has visited a link a link the user has visited Okay, a hover is there a hover a link when the user mouse over it a link a link when the user mouse over it mouse over it now a active is there a active a link the moment it is clicked a link the moment is clicked now you can see a link a normal unvisited link a visited a link the user has visited a hover a link when the user mouse over it a active a link the moment it is clicked but make sure that a hover must be after a link a visited only a active must be after a hover only this is the rule a hover must be come after a link a visited only a active must come after a hover only these are the rules order is important okay so let's go for coding part let's look into this coding part here so i am taking a link purpose coding i am writing styling purpose this is css a colon link a colon link a colon link i'm taking so a colon link color is what actually red color i'm taking this is color is just red color red okay red color this is open after that now a what we can say uh visited i'm taking a b i s i t visited colon so what i'm taking here just uh, color visited color i'm just taking green color only so green color means visited link i can say that colon like this next a colon a colon hover i'm taking hover means mouse whenever we hover it the color of the hyperlink will be changed that color is what actually yellow yellow color or yellow green i'm taking just color and a active means which is the active uh, link that is obviously i have to change what color is what actually blue only color is blue active link always in the reality color blue only so a link means just observe here color is red by default just i am giving color this color so you can able to change it as per your requirement no issues at all so a link means color red a visited means color green visited link always should be appear in the green color a hover means yellow green a active means blue color now where is your link hyperlink in the body section in the body section hyperlink how to create anchor tag you have to use href hyperlink reference but i am not going to move into any page okay just hyperlink reference i am not going to give any link means you can use hash symbols that is means not going to uh, moving to anywhere because if i move i cannot show you the css styling for this link visited link or unvisited link like that so i am not going to provide any 
uh, target web page where we want to move when we click here. That's what I'm not giving any address hyperlink reference because I, I have to show uh, how it is normal link, how it is visited link, how it is whenever mouse hover on it, how it is active link. I have to show you. That's the reason. Okay, let me uh, run this so that you will see this. This CSS styling we can apply on this hyperlink clearly here. Now you can see this is what actually uh, normal link it is red color when we mouse over it what color it is yellow green okay I'm not clicking on okay it is normal link unvisited link this is unvisited link is red color mouse hover means yellow green when I click it means what actually you can see when I click it blue color this is what active link when I release this automatically it will become what green color green color means what unvisited visited link mouse over means yellow green normal green means visited link click it active link okay this is first initially red color that is unvisited link this styling also we can give for the hyperlink only here now coming to the background image background image purpose also we can give styling for background image purpose what actually here this styling i'm giving for background image purpose background image purpose so what is the styling which i'm giving for background image purpose just observe here so i'm taking here body body for the body i'm going to give the styling here so i'm giving here background image background image background image colon from where you want to get background image url you have to use i have already image i plug dot png is there this is my image and now background repeat i am taking here background repeat background repeat i am taking so i don't want to uh, uh, repeat so no repeat option is available background position also i am taking here background position background position is i am giving right top I'm giving okay background position should be right top right left right top like that background uh, background attachment I'm taking background attachment background attachment I'm taking background attachment is fixed only fixed only this is fixed background iPhone image background iPhone remit background position background attachment URL I flag dot PNG no repeat right top fixed here okay this is uh, styling option here I'm giving for background and styling option so background image background repeat background position background attachment fixed here this is style attribute style code also I'm using but where is your uh, uh, what you can see uh, uh, image here in this body section we need not include any image because i am applying styling for body only automatically background image coming from my website so already images are placed here in this case look at here web application code give me one second when we execute this so automatically the background image is going to be no repeated single image on right top corner it is fixed only so no repeat it is this is background but here 
uh, this styling we can also more simplify directly we can do now you can see my background is on right top only always here if you want to give right top not right left only you can give the right left no problem right left right left means now this time it is going to be execute what right left only here this is the problem every day man i have to find the solution for sure auto refresh i have to find this in visual studio 2019 how to do auto refresh in browser in visual studio 2019 i have to check it so that it will be useful because every time it is going to be live server only that is the problem now you can see left side image is going to be displayed here okay this is left side so i'm giving right left only clearly that's what it is coming left side only suppose if you don't want to write this lengthy code okay you can also use a short form code only how to write short form code instead of this one okay so how to write css uh, uh, comment here slash star okay star slash this is css comment instead of this one we can write also same code for body you can write like this body open bracket so just i um, you mentioned background colon all are background only so background image url you can mention i flag dot png okay then space no repeat if you want you can mention no repeat and right top i'm thinking or right center i'm taking right center and i'm going to fix it here so like this easily no it will be easy so here whatever url separately background image i mentioned property background repeat i mentioned property background position i mentioned property all properties instead of mentioned directly one property background url no repeat right center and pixel like this or else right center not only we can make that now this time you can see it will be easy for you to manage the things only one line is enough to instead of repeated this body css clearly here we are trying to do it instead of repeated clearly so it's going to be center image here okay so center image clearly like this so this is background image but full background image purpose if you want so sir i want to do full background image if you want to do full background image you can see we can apply on html only styling we can apply on html element full background image if you want then background colon url i flag dot png then what we can say center then what we can say fixed then no repeat i'm taking no repeat and background size i'm taking here cover only here background size b s e k g r o u n d background background size background size that is what actually cover cover means it's completely cover that full image automatically no repeated so now let's run this we are making total background images covering like this full cover only it is there <clears throat> just wait i have to run this into browser html page where it is there right click on it and view in browser Give me one second auto reload option how to make it here. Mm -hmm.
Now full background image is coming like this. So completely full background image because of I mentioned it is cover. If I go for no repeat option, okay, that's what only single page is coming. If I remove no repeat, then now this time you can see automatically it's not going to be uh, refresh actually just. Okay, okay, local shared file it is there. Just give me one second. Okay. Now I have removed completely no repeat option. No repeat option if you remove means automatically what will happen, you know. Uh, automatically that the image is going to be repeated in full body background color only it is going to be repeat completely here okay let me load this Now again, same thing, no repeat is there, but no repeat is not saved here. No repeat is there, clearly. No repeat in the sense, it is going to be repeat completely here. What it repeat, HTML browser will repeat this uh, image action. It is not going to be. But you can see no repeat is there, no. Center is fixed here. If I don't use this cover here, automatically this will be display completely, no repeat option through here. Means no repeat means, every time the image will display multiple number of times multiple number of time in the sense repeatedly image is available if i use cover option then only one image is going to be covered in the background image but here i'm using no repeat so automatically repeated is available if you use no repeat then it will not repeat here okay so this is and coming to the uh, division and span tag also there so if you want to apply uh, HTML uh, styling like division and small span tag, the div tag is used to group various other HTML elements. Usually in our upcoming ASP.NET core sessions, especially division tag, most often frequently used tag. Division means to divide your HTML web page. So the div tag is used to group various other HTML elements. It is a block level element. We can say it also create a block. We can say it also create a block we can say that and uh, in this division in this division element so how many number of html elements you want you can keep it and the span tag is used to group inline elements means in the division section some of the section if you want to make changes span tag is required it is inline element only span tag is for example in my styling so I'm taking here two divisions are there like this. In the body section, two divisions are there. One division is div tag is used for creating division. In this division, I'm creating h1 section. So h1 section means this is heading one. Okay, next I'm taking one more h1 section. That is h2. This is heading two. This is heading two, we can say that. This is heading one, heading two. This is one division. And second, I'm taking here p tag is there. p tag means paragraph. 
B tag means bold. Okay, so here I'm taking welcome to is one and welcome to after. Okay, there is a span tag I'm preparing here. Now you can see bold only welcome to is applicable and span tag is required here. Span and welcome to Durga soft. Durga soft. This is the span tag on this span element. This is called inline HTML text means inline element span tag is inside the paragraph i am arranging span for this span i want to give styling you can give styling for this span tag also or division section also you can give styling you can give styling in my style sheet i am giving division styling here div open bracket now i am taking color is red okay now background color i am taking here so background color that is what actually blue only background color blue so this is division tag span tag what color you want to give that you can mention it i am giving styling for span span okay then color i am taking color and span tag color is just i am taking purple color i am taking and font size also i am increasing for span so font family or font size is like this uh, 20 pixel i am giving and font family also i am giving here just a font family here uh, just to what I'm taking font family and or something like this. Let's see this how, how it is font family look like. Okay, so this styling I'm applying for span only span will be this font family 20 pixel and purple color and this division section will be red color and background color is blue only. So let's hit this how it will be impact you can see. I'm giving styling for division and I'm giving styling for span also division and uh, span both i'm giving styling here so every time this is a problem we have to find the permanent solution for this so whenever server is ready then only this uh, html document is loading here now you can see this is a span tag look at here clearly this is my only span tag styling is available and this font style formally increment size and this is the foreground color red background color is blue actually here this is styling for division and styling for span tag only span element means only durga soft styling is going to be affected and another important uh, content if you want to display any paragraph or something sometimes overflow of the paragraph is also there so let me include in my body section some paragraph i am including here so look at here paragraph in this paragraph i first i want to mention some para so complete paragraph i'm just taking so sp.net core and the paragraph elements i'm taking what are the paragraph elements are there this is one paragraph just uh, any paragraph i'll take i'll take any one paragraph okay this is only paragraph i'm taking this paragraph copying and pasting into paragraph section so this is huge paragraph okay let me take huge paragraph like this so this is paragraph and after that what i mean to say here in this paragraph sometimes the paragraph is exceeding your alignment means for example i am giving styling for paragraph here so i'm going to styling for paragraph this is the p element for paragraph styling i'm taking and I'm taking some box here, height equals to 200 pixel. I'm giving for my paragraph box. The width I'm taking here, width equals to uh, 400 pixel. I'm giving 400 pixel here. And next, border equals to border equals to border colon 3 pixel border solid, solid red color. I'm taking. And after that, overflow option is important here. It is my completely overflow visible i'm taking overflow is visible so what is meaning here overflow visible means so paragraph section i'm arranging this styling height is 200 pixel width is 400 pixel border is 3 pixel and solid red and overflow is visible only i'm saying so i'm applying paragraph element let's run this one how it will be look like you can see this <coughs> Now you can see this is my paragraph so whatever arranging my paragraph option here this is the border this content is overflow or not 
overflow means it is exceeding this box complete we have to scroll down and read it this paragraph again but my requirement is i want to i don't want to overflow this paragraph so i can do one thing so visible overflow is visible means it will visible overflow hidden means it will not visible it will hidden it will hidden means what whatever the content is exceeding from that box okay so it is not going to be visible to you it is going to be hide that box so how it will hide that box just observe here i'm going to rerun this now we are hidden that means my content is completely hidden previous one overflow is visible that content of overflow is visible now content is missing at this case but both are not correct if i go for overflow visible means automatically the overflow content is visible to you but if i go for this uh, uh, con visible is hide hidden means the content is there but it is hidden to you how much box is there this box size that only it will come but my requirement is i don't want to overflow i don't want to hidden this extra content i want to make arrange the content into this box only that is called scroll option is available that is called scroll option so overflow equals to scroll in the sense automatically the overflow content also adjust with this height and width of css with all same border pixel color like this so that is important here overflow means uh, scroll means automatically you have to scroll down that box up and down so the content is not going anywhere so it still is there in that box only but you can able to adjust that uh, overflow content by using scrolling option clearly this is overflow mechanism now you can see this time automatically scrolling is available total content is available in this box only but scrolling facilities automatically is available so your content is not missing okay you can able to uh, uh, arrange the paragraphs or any content reading in your website in simple way by using this box so user can scroll down because easily can recognize scrolling option means some content is more there here you can down it so it is not going to waste your web page content web page width and height so easily we can able to scroll it clearly so you can scroll it clearly no problem at all or else if you want to change the settings of this box you can change the settings of this box also with if you want increase you can with increase height also you can decrease you can decrease the height also no problem let me decrease the height is 100 and width is a uh, 500 i'm taking or 600 width i'm taking so let's change this this so you can also scroll facilities for this uh, overflow options here so view browser now it is so these are the basics of uh, css and basics of HTML only we completed. So in next session tomorrow, JavaScript basics, I'm going to introduce you. That means how to create JavaScript file that is internal JavaScript file, external JavaScript file, how to write JavaScript functions and how to add that JavaScript functions into your HTML elements that all the basics of JavaScript in tomorrow session will continue. So within two days maximum, we'll try to finish the bootstrap library, JavaScript library. After that, we will focus on our HTML, ASP.NET core only. Now you can see this is going to be scrolling. You can read it and easily you can able to use this. This is HTML with CSS only. Without HTML, we can't apply CSS. Using HTML along with HTML only, we can apply CSS clearly. Okay. So in tomorrow session, we'll continue this JavaScript functions here. So JavaScript also important, okay? JavaScript, how to create JavaScript function and how to prepare them. So all these things we'll discuss in detail.